Yo, 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 what up, YouTubers? Pete here. All right. Um, a semi almost done with the, the first trailer. Trailer one. And this is what's looking like. Um, this is the Ferris uh, 700Z with the Briggs engine, 27 horsepower, 52 inch deck. It's an awesome mower. Over here, I got a little, little, you know, little, little sun, sun. Um, I got my pole saw, Echo pole saw. Um, you guys can see that right there. PPF two two five. I I think is the same thing as the SRM two two five, but I don't know. Might be a little wrong, but who knows? And uh, you know. I bought this uh, last year and I made my money the first day with this thing. I, I'm like, whoa. Now, what I did here in order to get this up here, I put uh, tornado hooks. Go to Home Depot and buy these. I put a uh, two by three on one side and then two by three and one by threes or one by twos on the other side so it could stick out and be a little leveled so I can have, you know, so it can just barely fit. Um, I put a bungee on top, so when driving around, it bounces and whatnot. It won't come out. And then um, this is my, my weed whacker, my trimmer, whatever the fuck you guys call it. This is uh, SRM 225. I have two of these in here, and I have two more in there. Anyway, so that's that. Um, you know, I'm using... Um, for the trimmers this year, uh, one product I think is dope. Let me show you guys real quick. One thing that I really like, like I said, I was just still working on it. I got to put something for the tires, you know, to stop it from coming over. Because even though it has the brakes, this thing still slides around. But we'll talk about that in a second. Um, I'm using Black Diamond, man. You can't go wrong with it, you know. It, it whips ass, man. It, it really cuts into whatever you got to get into, especially with the brushes and uh, some of the properties. Most of the properties I go to, they're, uh, you know, it's, it's a nightmare, man. You know, we do our bi-weekly cuts and, you know, you can't use the, the other stuff like um, the uglies. You know, you can use it, but, you know, I bought this last year. I got this from like when I first started floating around, but this is the one I'm actually using. I love it. So before um, I buy more of these, I'm going to use these up. Um, and this is the Crossfire by Echo. Um, you guys can see the E, the logo. Echo, this is the Crossfire by Echo. And, uh, you know... It does what it, you know, it does what it got to do. So, but yeah, but this is what I'm using for my trimmers, man. So if you guys don't know about Black Diamond, try it. You're going to like it. You won't regret it. Um, I'm not sponsoring. I'm not sponsored by Echo, but I'm just telling you this is what works for me. If I can find a better product, you know, if somebody can tell me about something better than that, please let me know in the comments and I'll try it out. Um, yeah, so this is. This is my sticks. Uh, one thing I don't like is because this one is in the top, so I'm going to have to probably put a piece of 2x4 here. I got to straighten this shaft, this this head up, you know, tilt it the right way. But I'm going to put a piece of 2x4 or something, you know, like a block, so I can, uh, so I can, uh, so it won't bounce, you know, wiggle and shit. But yeah, uh, those tornado hooks are a little bigger than the one up front. These are the sm uh, little smaller ones. And, you know, and I put some, I don't know what these called. I found them in the truck that I got. And they're, they're pretty good, man. Look, you know, this wire in the middle. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to wear, wear out throughout the season. But, you know, look, you know, it's you put it there and that's it, man. You know, so if you're traveling, you know, you want to hold your sticks up. You don't want it to bounce around and fall out. I think this is a great idea, man. You know, instead of spending however much money on those, uh, on those uh, trimmer racks, you know, um, 
I think this is gonna work out. So I did that there, I did that there, and I did that there. And I also did the bungee over there. I started from the top of the trailer and there's a hole in the bottom of that two by three going up. So that hook goes right into it. So it, it, it holds it real good, you know. Um, over here, I got my, one of my head trimmers. This is my Echo as well. Um, HC152. This, I've had this for a while already. This one I bought last year. I made my money the first day. This is an Echo uh, SEH2255. And I love it. You know, I made the first day I used it, I made my money back. Like, whoa. And then this is, uh, you know, to measure my properties and whatnot. I'm pretty sure this is going to bounce around and fall. Uh, but I'm, uh, I got another piece of that the thing. I'm just going to put it here. Or so, you know, I could put something. I'll get a fucking hanger and whoosh, that's it. Done deal. Um, My backpack blower. One of my backpack blowers. Uh, this is the PB580T. And yeah, it needs some adjusting, you know. Like I said before, you, you slam on the throttle and it bogs out. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix the, the cable. Um, I took it to the mechanic and never did anything with it. Um, this is my little one, the push blower with the Kawasaki is the smaller one, but this thing is all right, man. It works for me. Over here, I got my other push mower. This is my second season with this one. And then I got, um, this is a Toro 22 inch, I think, front wheel drive. He has a 20, 22 inch, if you guys can see it right there. And this is, this is my hand pruners, loppers, you know, child molester dick cutters. Damn, be, I'll be good to work for the government, man. Torture motherfuckers. Like, where's the petroleum? Where's whatever? <laughs> All right. Now, this is uh, my two catch-alls. No, my one catch-all. And I got a bunch of stuff here. I got towels, um, shirts, and whatnot that, you know, I just used to wipe down the machines with. Up here, I got um, blades. I got two sets of blades. They're both sharpened. I got my grease gun, WD-40. Um, little eye hooks, whatever you call those. Um... You know, this is going to be my catch all right here in the center. Um, crescent wrench. These things, I, you guys got to get these, man. You know, if you're in a fly, get these, man. These things are no joke. But be careful, man. You can hurt yourself with this. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, man. Check these out. These are awesome. This to do some damage to a limb or something. You know, I usually put this in the on the when I'm riding. I usually put it right there on the deck, and that's it. I'm gone. You know, and if something's in my way, I get off real quick, chop it off, throw it on the ground, take pictures of it, of course. But you know, uh, my chainsaw. I don't have it here. I lent it to my brother-in-law, and my other chainsaws I got at my other storage unit. So yeah, so this is gonna be my catch-all. You know, this stuff won't fall around. I was going to put a shelf back here, but nah, what's the point? You know, I'm trying to carry light. This is going to be my uh, my mowing go setup, basically. You know what I mean? But in, anyway, in here, I got my fire extinguisher. I got, I'm going to buy a new one, even though this is still good. I'm going to buy a new one because I need a mount. I want to mount it here. Right here, I'm going to mount it. Or in the back. But I think right here should be good. Right here by the door somewhere. I mount it and that's it. You know, I'll probably put one here and one over there. So worst case scenario, if something's on lit up, you know, I only got a limited of time. So psh, psh, and then that one over there, psh, whatever. But yeah, man. So this is my setup. This says uh, ear protection. This is um, a tote, which I have. Um, I have a bunch of smaller, uh, smaller mix. That's what I got in here. Uh, more headphones. You know, ear protection. Eye protection, gloves, a first aid kit, and you know that's pretty much a, 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 the deal right here. Then my gas cans are right here, even though I got the other gas cans. But I, like I said, I have another setup over there, still in progress, and I gotta get the other truck ready. So you know, 
Um, that one's going to have the walk behind and the zero turn because it's a V-nose and it has a lot more room. It's a six and a half by 12 and a half, that black trailer. Um, but yeah, this is it right here though, man. And this is the Ferris, the IS700Z, 52 inch deck. Um, I just checked it all out. Everything's good. Um, I love it. And that's that, man. But it's looking good, man, this year. It's looking real good. Um, this is this is the hit em up setup though. Like go mode, that's it, done. Um, if you guys been following me for a while, you know that it's taken me a long time to get here. And, you know, I'm very proud of this. This is something that, you know, didn't happen overnight. So, you know, you guys work hard, you, you get to where you need to get to. But it's always, you know, without sacrifice. Um, it's not without sacrifice, man. So, you know, you got to think ahead and make sure, you know, you do things the right way. You know, uh, but that's that. So this is what I'm rolling with this year. You know, uh, pretty respectable. Um, and then there's the F-250. And then that's my van over there. All right, so let's, that's it for this setup. Setup number one. Sunday, doing my thing day. And that's about that. And I got the cones over there. I got my hard rake. I got the, I'm, I'm trying to get the rakes together too. See if I can do some kind of setup there. But this is the hit em up setup. This is the, to get it done. And this is the other setup right here. Let's check that out real quick. A quick look at the madness. A quick setup at the madness. You guys can see, I've got a bunch of shit going on in here. Sticks, trimmers, well, you know. I got I got the same stuff over there too, but it's in the storage. And this is just me, you know, tinkling, messing around. But this will be another setup. I'll make another video for this one soon. And then you guys tell me what you think, you know. Should have been done with it, but the other truck ain't done, so why rush, you know. And I, I, I really do have to do some, like, training with some people that I got. Uh, not got, but these people are going to be the bomb. I got to talk about it. Be about it. Don't talk about it. I got a bunch of shit, man. I got more blowers. This is what I started out with, this handheld blower. I swear by it. This is a home light. And it's been with me for a while. And it's it does its thing, man. It vibrates a lot, but it does its job. Um, but yeah, man. Leave your comments. Tell me what you think. And, you know. And let's go from there. And as always, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If it's the first time watching these videos, you know, subscribe. And hopefully you like the information I'm putting out. And that's that. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Peace.